So Tom, we got our hands on a Killzone Mercenary demo yeah. for the PS Vita. It is. We played it. Yep. What did you What did you think? So I was like totally scared of playing this game because wow. uh, I wasn't sure how those analog sticks would work for like a first person shooter. You haven't played a first person shooter on the Vita? Never played one before. Okay. I think this is the second, by mm -hmm. the way. I thought it felt really good. I was impressed. Yeah. Like moving and aiming and shooting and uh, whatever the L button does. Aiming. Aiming down sights. Like that actually feels not as good as the PS3, yeah. but it feels it feels comparable. Like you're not going to be cursing the controller. You're going to be just kind of playing the game right away. It didn't quite have the weight that Killzone on the PS3 does. Uh, it, but it also moved better than Resistance Burning Skies, which was the previous first-person shooter I played on the Vita. That one was just kind of floaty and yeah. didn't really, I didn't quite like it. Um, but this one felt promising from the one level we got to play. Yeah, though if we're talking about controls, we do have to mention the big problem with the control. Which in your eyes is? The touch screen. Uh, oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Excessive touch screen. All right, so for, for touch screen, you use it to pick up items. Yep. To interact with things in the environment, like pull switches and whatnot. Uh, that stuff you can also do by pressing triangle. So did you, did you try both? So like uh, to pick up ammo on the ground, you can either hit triangle or tap the screen. Tap the button prompt that appears, yes. Yeah. Uh, and then there's also melee stuff where you tap the screen to melee and then draw your finger across an arrow yeah, and then to you kill. Do the Which is a little, it's a little clunky to say the least. And then just things like you have to tap enemies to kill them with this like heat seeking missile. Yeah, that was like a, a special power one. Yeah. one of you, you, get, you get this thing you can equip and it's heat seeking missiles. And you tap the little red circles that are over them when they're in range. Yeah, which I don't, I, I just didn't like putting my hands all over the screen because this thing is, is just gorgeous. Oh yeah. So it was so there's two things, right? It's obstructing your view. Yeah. But then there's also uh, it, you're moving. You're doing that. I don't like moving. Yeah, it's it, it's like thumb extension is a little awkward. I found that I would use the triangle button for a lot of that stuff, yep. and then it was just like a, the only thing you needed to use it for was like this one hacking mini game. But then also like the the swipe to kill. Yes. The melee kill, which swipe to kill. was generally just like blah, whatever. <laughs> yeah. it'll, it'll be okay. Um, but in terms of the rest of the controls, like the sprint toggle, I didn't like the, the crouching stuff. That's all on a button. Whereas, you know, like in Killzone on the console, sprint is on a, a, a click on yeah. the stick, and it's and getting behind cover is. I don't. Know, that just felt more fluid to me. Like the environmental movement, yeah. I liked better on consoles. Yeah, I think they did a, a, a very good job for the most part of bringing that movement, but it just shows that there's some limitations, that there's not enough buttons to really do all that they need to. Yeah, in, in and that they, and they still way. And they, yeah, and they still kind of forced all that in there, so it kind of feels... I have a question. What? Why didn't they use the back touchpad? Oh, so instead of instead of touching the screen, you wanted to just tickle the underside? Yeah, let me tap the back. Or, you know, for that giant arrow that's like, stab dude's neck yeah. this way. Why can't I do that behind here? Because then yeah. I could keep my thumbs where, and you know, I could stay on the buttons and the sticks and just kind of do this on the on the back touch. Oh my God, you're, you're doing some origami with your hands. I, it's a pretty good idea, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it, it seems like a, a natural fit just to have that option, but that also it's worth mentioning maybe that there are good options for analog stick sensitivity and also for motion yes. aiming. Did you try that out? Uh, no, I'm not good with that. <laughs> Me neither. I think what they need to do, because I, I usually play on the train, voice commands. So I go, <laughs> stab that dude in the neck and then in the kidney and then he next dies. Next stab, next stab, <laughs> grenade throw. Yes. Shoot, 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 shoot. So reload. So that's the next thing they have to add. I think it's, I think it's good. <laughs> oh, awful. But you still think yeah. the game looks beautiful. Yeah, well, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of it artistically, but technically, yeah. the only thing I play in the Vita, and I play the Vita all the time, mm -hmm. is like indie stuff or PS2 remakes or thing, things that don't push the hardware. Yeah. I, I haven't played anything since Uncharted that looks like this, and I'm just, I, I kind of forgot that this is basically a portable PlayStation 3. Yeah, I mean, it looks it looks really sharp. Uh, there were numerous occasions, though, for me where it, it hitched up for a oh, second. Oh yeah, the frame rate isn't... Do you think that, I think that's maybe a demo thing. I mean, it's hard to tell with this kind of thing yeah. what that ultimate tech experience is gonna be like, but that was distracting for me because there are a few times where like, I was moving to aim and then there was yeah. a hitch and I shot the wall instead of the guy. Um, but, you know, it's still still able to, to play, to, to vanquish my enemies yeah. and to feel like I'm playing a legit first person shooter here uh, on the Vita. So reason to be optimistic. 
Oh, yeah, I mean, if you like Killzone or you just want a shooter on the Vita, like, this this is not Call of Duty declassified. Mm -hmm. Like, this is, this is Which, not... Which uh, was pretty terrible. Yeah, like, yeah. it's not going down that path. Like, this seems like a legitimate, like, totally cool, totally functional shooter, right? Yeah, no, I, I definitely, you know, was feeling good, was taking down enemies and feeling like it wasn't just a, a point-and-shoot thing. Like, there was, you know, I was getting into it in the way that I get into okay. shooters. And, you know, we only played one single-player level, but... From that, Killzone Mercenary looking right. pretty good. We'll see. I guess later this this year, Sony Cambridge. So we'll oh, see. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's why they pay us the big bucks.